it started as an interactive game in San Francisco, the original game, and the show, it's based around that, but it's, um, it's these four, four main characters that go on this journey to find what's missing in their lives, and they go deep. They go really deep to figure this thing out. And so, as the audience, we're going on this trip with them, and our characters are finding themselves throughout the game, so by the end, yeah, they evolved. Fredwin is my character. He is the conspiracy theorist. Uh, he thinks he's the smartest person in the room. Uh, he won't stop until it's done. So he's like just this tactician that just digs, 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 digs until it's done. And sometimes uh, when you dig too far, you burst pipes and everything. So <laughs> he is, uh, he's nuts. I play Simone. Um, our character's kind of butt heads at the beginning, which yes. is fun. She's a, an art school girl who uh, her life is sort of a mess and uh, she puts on this very confident um, demeanor but um, on the inside she's like a little bit of a marshmallow and uh, I think she's just like afraid that she's never gonna fit in and, and be loved and all that. So. Usually when they pair a showrunner they'll say like the person you're working with has never done this before and it's someone who doesn't even know where to sit on set but they pair me with someone who's been on television for 10 years and has written movies and books and all these things. So the learning curve, it didn't take long for me to sort of say, Jason, this is what we need to do. And then, you know, he got it. So it was great. Was There's definitely right? connections, I think, for Jason, this work, even though the game itself is really fantastical, it's really personal to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing I've learned as showrunner is to speak for him when he's not here, because that's Perfect. what you have to do. Perfect. Uh, but I know that this is something that, as he's mentioned, where he was in his life and his career and really sort of taking stock of all that um, and then making that relatable to the everyday audience. And so it's that combination. I think there are there are all sorts of nods in the show to who he's been, um, but hopefully it, it appeals to everyone. And that was part of why we wanted our cast to be so diverse. We wanted someone like Sally who appeals to a different demographic. Um, so it really hopefully will reach a big, a broad spectrum of people.